Hey y'all, it's meteorologist Erica Lopez. On this Thursday, October 10th, we're still tracking Milton and what's left of its impacts as it heads towards the Atlantic waters and what you can expect over the next several hours. But let's give you a quick recap of what has happened over the last 24 hours. Hurricane Milton made landfall on October 9th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time near Siesta Key, Florida as a category three storm. It brought maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour and a central pressure of 954 millibars. Significant impact Impacts were felt across Sarasota and the Tampa Bay area where our storm chaser Jordan Hall captured these dramatic scenes. Rivers of water rushing through Venice Beach, stranded cars, and even power flashes. Currently, 3.4 million customers are without power in the state of Florida alone, with some of the hardest hit counties being Hillsborough, Manatee, Sarasota, and even Volusia County, where more than 70% of customers remain without power. Wind gusts reach 102 miles per hour in St. Petersburg, Sarasota, in Siesta Key, while the highest wind gust was recorded at 170 miles per hour just south of Sarasota near Venice, where our storm chaser Jordan Hall was located. On top of the wind gusts, we also had significant rainfall. In fact, a flash flood emergency was issued for the Tampa area where more than 10 inches of rain fell in under three hours. Across the state, rainfall totals ranged from four inches to over 15 inches of rainfall in some areas. Not only that, but we even had tornadoes. 130 tornado warnings were issued across central and south Florida uh, yesterday evening as Hurricane Milton's outer bands and even the atmosphere was conducive for this. Now, what's next for Milton? Let's give you a quick update using my radar. Right over the Atlantic waters, it has officially moved offshore the Sunshine State. And you can see here, um, we're still seeing a couple of light lingering showers moving across Florida's east coast, but this is also going to generate that storm surge. Three to five feet of storm surge still expected from uh, parts of Georgia all the way down into central Florida um, and even one to two along the Carolinas there. So storm surge, I think, will be one of the biggest threats that will continue. But for the most part, looks like the wind threat is also diminishing over these areas and even the rainfall threat. But of course, we still have lingering rainfall and flooding, uh, so take all of that seriously and don't drive over those flooded waters. So over the course of the next several hours, Milton will be an extra tropical cyclone and then it'll weaken as it heads over water. You can see here, it'll take a couple of days until uh, it completely dissipates. So we're still going to be tracking Milton, but thankfully it looks like it won't be any more of a direct impact to land uh, as it moves over the waters there. And of course, we're going to continue to keep you safe and informed all across the social media platforms. Follow us on here and right here on my radar. Follow my radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download my radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.